48 volts is the de facto home wide energy storage voltage right and as is the case a lot of these rack mount turnkey battery solutions are starting to pop up in the marketplace now this is one of those uh, most affordable companies that are out there that make this type of batteries they're called jacoper and they sent me this a few months ago this was like their their gen 1 i guess 48 volt a uh, 100 amp hour so about five uh 5.1 a kilowatt hour battery 48 volt right battery but now they have a version 2 apparently and then this is so much smaller this is i think four uh space rack space and this is a five rack space so they've managed to make it even smaller more compact but yet still remain uh the 100 amp hour capacity which is 5.1 one uh, kilowatt hours right so let's take these apart at the same time and then we can see the differences see how they were able to do that but before we do that i guess we can go through the external differences so apart from the side these are the uh terminal posts uh they have two because uh in many of these systems you'll be able to stack more and so you daisy chain uh, many of these batteries together and so that's why it is very useful to have two of these uh, posts in there so you have one cable that's coming from another battery and then another cable that's going to another if you're if this is you know in the middle of the daisy chain now on this uh, version two that they have the new version the terminals are uh well they seem like they're better quality they seem like they're bigger uh, now they're using 3.8s or what is this, M6 maybe? I think this is M6, where before I think it was an N5. So it's a bit smaller. Uh, they seem a little bit beefier, and so that's pretty cool. Uh, apart from that, it's the same thing. They have the circuit breaker over here. The communication section looks pretty much the same. They did move the power button they moved it from down there on this side to this side over here but it's probably the same thing the menu seems to be identical so i think i bet you it's going to be the exact same hardware inside it's just put on here and basically aside from the the thing and the box it's probably going to be the cells that's going to be the major difference in here so i have already gone and taking the uh, screws off of both of these so i'll be able to just lift them up and you'll be able to see the insides of both boom there we go that's version one the cells are on their side that is the difference the cells are longer but shorter and so as a result of that they are able to put them standing up or on this one's they had to put them sideways man look at this these are just beautifully made these bars right here are so they can hold the cells um yeah and they have all these custom bracketry there that is just spot welded on the inside of these packs so you know they're gonna be sturdy they're gonna hold uh they have this foam in here to be able to compress the cells but just enough you know compression not too not too much so that where you damage them but just enough so that they don't expand uh, over expand they need a bit just a tiny bit of compression these don't they have the tendency to to be able to expand a little bit uh but just just like the other one the uh they have wire looming that goes on here with little zip ties and they use some of these brackets also to um to as raceways for the wire loom that's pretty cool and that's pretty neat uh visually i'm, I'm uh, this helps the factories when they're building this when you're you visually see where all the cables are going this is uh, pretty cool um temperature sensing look there's one here one there and then there's another one over here another one over there so four temperature sensors on this one can we tell what brand of cells they are a091 well i don't know the numbers but the, yeah six so there's 16 cells so that means these are 100 amp hour 
cells. Man, lithium iron phosphate is gone. It's getting so much better in gravimetric and volumetric size. I'll give you an example. All right, I always like to show these. These, uh, when I was building my electric cars about seven, eight years ago, this was top of the line. This was so advanced, so new that I couldn't even afford it. But this is right here, a Calv 100 amp hour gray cell. Uh, now, since, you know, a few years later, I bought uh, four of these just to mess around. But this is where the technology was. Now imagine 16 of these don't fit in this giant case, right? Because obviously look, they, they, they got from this size to that size but now even smaller. And so 16 of these cells will never fit in here. And this is how fast uh, this technology is advancing. Uh, so these cells, yeah, these are the ones that are gonna be on Teslas. Uh, I think CATL may, it's, uh, is the other company that makes these, but Calv and CATL, those are big companies in China. You can rest assured they're gonna be good quality. Uh, by the way, this is serviceable, uh, just like this one. Uh, because it's got screws and bus bars. So that means that you can take these apart. If one, one day one of these ones fails because there was a defective cell or something like that, then you could take it apart. It's got, it's just bolted all together, right? Nothing is glued or welded or where you can't take it and then replace a cell. And then, uh, yeah, you can get your battery working in here. Other than that, what are the changes? Same Thick cables, right? Six American wire gauge. Uh, now, instead of using one thick six American wire gauge on the old one, we're using two seven American wire gauge cables. Uh, and so that's how they did it. They used two. Uh, the terminals are a bit different, a bit beefier. The BMS looks identical as the other one over there. Now, an interesting thing is they're starting to use ferules or ferrules. These are these uh, things right here. Where did I put it? Yeah, these guys right here. It helps you use these at the ends of cable so that the strands don't fray away and then you get a much better conductivity when, when you use that. On the original version of the battery, they didn't have that. They just went straight into the, uh, well, to the, uh, the DC, uh, what is this circuit breaker? But on the new one over here, well, look at that. You see that right there? They're using one of those right there. And on that side too, you see it right there? That red one? Oh, there we go. That's my bus over there. So this is a, a, a big improvement over that one. That one seemed a bit messy, the, the design. I mean, the functionality works just fine. If you have some of these, don't worry. They're gonna work. The, the cells are very similar. They're just, you know, kind of like a different form factor. Um, but when it comes to designing products, then you keep optimizing for space and just for symmetry and stuff. And that doesn't get any better much better than this. I guess you could, I could, like if I was designing this thing, maybe I wouldn't use these and maybe I just put, make like a giant PCB board in here and then just screw them all in there and you wouldn't have any of these cables. You just have one connector over here going to a connector over there and then big connectors going into that PCB board. Um, so that's what I would do, but this is pretty good. I mean, look at the symmetry here. They have all these, uh, to, this is probably to aid in the factory when they're putting them together, then you can't make, tend to make less mistakes if you label everything, if, you know, so then you can take a picture and it, it, just, anybody could look at the one that's made right and then compare it to the one that you just made and you're like, oh yeah, that's exactly the same because you see all the little cables. But there are, there's room to improve and maybe that's what we will do. I'm actually working on my own version of it over here, right? But this video is about this, Jacoper, battery uh the 5.1 kilowatt hour i actually got several of these and i am going to be uh making a video showing you a whole build right a whole portable build that you can connect to your house you can charge cars uh yeah so that video is coming up today i just wanted to compare both of these 
and show you what the differences are. They're getting better. Jacket Purr is getting better. They're using the better components and they're using better design on their packs. And by the way, I believe these are among the most economical battery systems that are there that are turnkey, obviously, right? Turnkey, they can't compete with our DIY stuff. Uh, it's turning prices, but right? But uh, well, all the DIY stuff, you have to do a lot of stuff. You have to build this stuff. But these, the way they come, I'm gonna show you in the video. I think within like four hours, you can put uh, one of these systems together. And I'm doing it all by myself and I'm making mistakes mistakes and all i think within four hours you can build a 20 kilowatt hour battery system that you can connect the inverter and then power your house either off grid or you know a grid tie kind of thing uh we'll show you that in the next video all right thank you for watching this video thanks for jacket for sending these batteries uh so for me to review and tear them down and stuff uh there's gonna be a, a link in the description uh, if you want to get this system, I think they have a special right now where you, if you get the four of these, you get like a free uh, rack mount unit, right? That uh, I think it's like a $200 value or whatever. That's very, very useful. In the next video, I'm going to show you how I'm putting it together and how sturdy it is and all this other stuff, right? So thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.